Career Center. This morning we are going to make pumpkin scones. Okay, so I'm starting with flour, brown sugar, pumpkin pie spice, some baking powder, uh, salt, uh, brown sugar into this bowl. And I am going to add to this bowl, I'm going to add some pumpkin puree. Let's get all this out of here. Not pumpkin pie filling. This is the pumpkin puree that doesn't have all of the eggs and sugar and such. About two tablespoons of heavy cream, one egg, and about a teaspoon of vanilla. Good. Mix this together. Scones are delicious. These are super tender. We're gonna put a nice glaze on them. Great for breakfast, um, but also good just as a, like a dessert. These are good that way as well. All right, so I'm going to put the pumpkin filling, the wet into the dry. And I'm gonna mix this together. Oh, it smells so good. Ready to start getting into all these pumpkin things. Okay, so you're gonna make a dough. It's not really a batter, this is more of a dough. And it's gonna be crumbly. So once that's semi-combined, like I said, it's going to stay crumbly. Now we're going to add some butter, and I've cut it into small squares using a pastry blender, and we're going to cut this butter into the flour mixture. You want this as you do this. You can use two butter knives if you don't have a pastry blender. It works just as well. And you just want to get all of that combined. You will end up using your hands here. Let's get this dough together. I wanted to mention that our garden cafe is open to the public. Our hours are 1030 to 1230. Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. While school is in session, always call and double check. Generally, on a delay, we'll open, but not all the time. It just depends on if schools are canceled. Okay, so we've got this together, but we are open. It's very exciting. All right, I'm gonna use my hands and kind of incorporate this dough all together. Kind of knead it a little bit where you push with the back of your hands, pull with your fingers, incorporate all that together. I'm gonna put a little bit of flour on my table. And I'm gonna form this into a disc. I would probably need it a little bit more. But I'm forming this into a, a disc, inch or so thick. And you want a circle. Some of that butter will still be chunky, but you want that because it's gonna help make these scones tender. As it heats up, the butter disperses upon, among the layers of the flour. All right, so now I'm gonna cut this into six, or I'll cut it into eight, because scones are little triangles. So we're gonna put these onto a parchment-lined baking sheet and bake these at 350 for about 20, 25 minutes until they've risen. They're a little bit browned on top, a little bit browned on the bottom. All right, I brought these scones right out of the oven and I made a glaze, just a regular powdered sugar glaze with a little bit of heavy cream, a little touch of vanilla, and I've dipped, what you wanna do here, once they've cooled off, which these have, uh, we're gonna dip these into the glaze. So we, now I'm gonna make a pumpkin glaze. So I've got some powdered sugar, some pumpkin pie spice. Um, here I've got a little bit of heavy cream, a little more of that pumpkin puree that I had from the can from the, from the scones themselves. And this just adds, you don't have to do this part. So once you've got these scones iced and you want to let that um, powdered sugar glaze 
just slightly harden up a little bit. And then just take this and you can just either do this with your hand, give it a nice little bit of a glaze. You can also put this into a um, Ziploc bag and do it that way. And these are our pumpkin scones. Perfect for fall, perfect for brunch, breakfast, dessert for dinner, kind of a cross between a muffin and a biscuit. Um, just delicious. These and all the recipes can be found at apollocareercenter.com and first edition will be right back.